What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going over my C5 Corvette. I've had this car for a long time and uh, it's basically given me no problems at all for the most part. It does have around 82,000 miles, which isn't really that bad. The car is in awesome shape. Mechanically, it's super sound and the only thing that I had to recently do to it was I had to get a new AC compressor compressor because you know it was leaking so you know whatever it is what it is now the AC is working perfectly and uh, yeah the car is just awesome the only one thing that I don't like about the car and it's just really the nature of the beast is that you know it's really low to the ground Especially depending on what kind of tires you got. But I mean, you kind of look. You don't really got that much room. But of course, you know, you got that plastic guard so that, you know, if you do end up scraping, that's going to scrape first. So, you know, obviously if you're going around in a parking lot where it's going up and down or it's dipping or, you know, there's a big pothole or something, obviously you got to avoid the potholes. But other than that, the car is great. You know, interior is in good shape. We'll open that up. We'll pop the hood. I mean, the car is a bit dirty, so I do apologize about that. I just took it out of the uh, garage. But yeah, the car is in great shape. And so we got that little matte part just to cover anything that you got in there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty dope car. It's all original. Nothing really done to it at all, for the most part. I think there was just, uh, there's a little bit of a aftermarket air filter on her, but that's about it. I mean, the car's got plenty of, pr of pep. I, I gotta clean the inside, it's filthy, but let's pop the hood real quick. Just so we could show you that. So here she is, and like I said, the, in, the inside is just a little dirty. I haven't detailed it in a couple years, so I really need to get on that. I do have this little bit of an intake system, which probably doesn't really do too much, but I'm sure it's a little bit better than the uh, stock one. So I'll probably have to service those soon. Just got a new battery last year for it, but it's pretty nasty. Yeah, so car has been awesome. Like I said I do gotta clean it up. It is a bit dirty, but it doesn't look too bad right now. Like when you when you really wax this thing good, shine it, it's it looks amazing. So hey yeah, guys, awesome car. Like I said, I told you guys we're gonna be doing different stuff on this channel besides just the motorcycles, you know, we'll be doing the quads and other cars and really nice trucks and all that but yeah the pollen's horrible right now i mean look, look, look at these trucks they're fucking they're supposed to be black they're like yellow so psh, crazy but so if you guys like seeing stuff like this you know hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notifications send me some comments if you like seeing this stuff you know maybe i'll do a drive in the car i'll have to strap a gopro to my fucking head but if, you, if that's what you guys like to see, then, you know, I'll absolutely do it. And uh, don't forget to share this channel, guys. We love seeing cool shit like this. And um, hopefully you guys do as well. So, yeah, there she is. Let's do, a, let's do a little startup video of it, right? While we're checking it out, might as well do that. Obviously the car's already warmed up. Yeah, 
second. So the car definitely boogies. I've definitely gone at least three quarters of the uh, way on the speedometer. But, you know, obviously that was in Mexico. I don't know why this, my camera's not focusing a lot, but yeah, so great little car. Like I said, it is pretty powerful, you know, for what it is. And the car's lightweight, obviously it's aerodynamic. But yeah, she's a beauty, guys. And, you know, you can get these things for not too, too expensive. You, know, you just got to make sure you find one that's in good shape. All right, obviously I'm covering my plate because I don't want people knowing exactly which one is mine. Because I do drive it every now and then. It's not just a garage queen. And, you know, you'll... You, you got to drive it for sure. So chrome rims did come with the car so and i think they look pretty good and may you know maybe something like a black on black like black rims would look pretty good too but that's okay i'm totally fine with it tires are in great, good shape brakes are good and, you know new battery new ac compressor so the, the thing's pretty flawless the only thing i do have to do is uh I do got to get new remotes for it and probably get them reprogrammed. But that's, I'm sure that's going to be a thousand bucks at the fucking dealer. But I'll do some research on it, see if I can do it myself. Um, I don't know exactly how hard it is or, you know, what exactly the process is. But I'll probably look on the Corvette forms to see if anybody has done it. And, you know, I probably just need new, uh, probably just need new ones, to be honest with you. You know, because this little sucker right here. This thing, that thing is, let's focus, baby. Okay, this thing is not, this thing doesn't work, even with the new battery in it. And like I said, I'm sure it's probably got to just get programmed. So, uh, you know, even if they're like, oh, you got to buy new ones, I'll probably just spend the coin and get it done just so that, you know, the remote is working. So, all right, guys, thank you for tuning in. And like I said, if you like seeing stuff like this, leave some comments below and let me know. And, you know, make sure you guys subscribe and share and tell your friends to subscribe because you know the more subscribers i get and the more people commenting and liking you know it just gives me motivation to keep doing this stuff so this is just obviously a side hobby but you know we do have some pretty cool stuff so stay tuned guys